Hi, I'm Tenny Olash Shoboale. Here's your Channel CV Evening News Recap for July the 22nd, 2022. Ahead of the 2023 general elections, President Muhammadu Buhari says the off-season elections in Anambra, Ikiti and Ocean states have confirmed his administration's irreversible commitment to credible and violence-free polls in the country. Speaking when he received a delegation from Nasarawa state led by Governor Abdullahi Sule, he promised to bequeath to the nation an irreversible political process that continues to be both democratic and acceptable to the people. Away from politics, Justice Adeyemi Ajayi of the FCT High Court has ordered that the former Accountant General of the Federation, Ahmed Idris and others be remanded in Kujay Correctional Facility pending the hearing of their motion for bill application. Idris, who was arraigned alongside Olusegun Akindele, Mohamed Usman and the Gezawa Commodity Market and Exchange Limited by the EFCC is facing a 14 counts charge of stealing and criminal breach of trust to the tune of 109 billion naira. The case has been adjourned till the 27th of July. Staying in the nation's capital, the federal government says it has budgeted a total of 6.7 trillion naira to fund fuel subsidy in 2023. The Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Mr. Zainab Ahmed, who spoke during the 2023 to 2025 medium term expenditure framework, stated that petrol subsidy would remain up to mid 2023 based on the 18 month extension announced early 2021, in which case only 3.6 trillion naira will be provided for. On the international scene, heavy gunfire has been heard repeatedly at the main military base near the Malian capital Bamako. Islamist militants have been carrying out frequent attacks in Mali, most in the central and north of the country. And in sports, Jamaican Sharika Jackson has become the fastest woman alive over 200 metres when she scorched to a dominant world title in 21.45 seconds, a time bettered only by Florence Giffith Joyner. Fellow Jamaican Shelly Ann Fraser Price, who claimed her fifth World 100m gold on Sunday, took silver in 21.81 seconds, with Dinah Asher Smith of Great Britain third in 22.02 seconds. And that's your news recap for today. Join us tomorrow for fresh updates. I'm Tenny Olashubo Ale. Thanks for watching.